So Justine, you work in process and chemical engineering. What did you study to get involved in that? I studied chemical engineering in UCD. Um, I suppose just to explain what a chemical engineer does, because I actually didn't really know that while I was studying it. Um, uh, basically, a chemical or process engineer works directly with the product that you would get, say the drug that you get in the pharmacy. So we would design and commission process equipment that either produces the drug or cleans the drug or cleans the equipment. So we work directly with the pharmaceutical drug that you get when you get a prescription. Great, so that's exactly what your job that's involves. That's pretty much what, what we do, yeah. Well, not what I do on a daily basis. Yeah. Great, really yeah. rewarding. Yeah. And Patrick, you actually went on and you work now in Microsoft as a software developer engineer. In test. In test, yeah. okay. And how did you do that and what did you study to get involved in that? Um, so I chose computer applications in DCU and uh, one of the reasons I chose that because it was because I had the work placement, so I thought like industry placement was going to be really important. So I did that because DCU kind of gave the six month kind of placement. Um, but before even choosing college, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, so I kind of kept my leaving cert kind of options fairly, fairly, uh, fairly broad. Sure. So um, I just kind of kept a few science subjects in there because I thought it might be somewhere that I might want to go into. And then I chose computer applications, and it just kind of suited me quite well. And then when I finished after four years, um, I saw. I think there was an intern position available in, in Microsoft, so I went for that and somebody happened to leave the team during, during that period. I went for that position and got it. So it was, uh, it was, it was pretty good. Like the, the course I did, I, kind of, I liked it because there was a lot of different modules in it. Going into DCU, I didn't really know what computers really was, to be honest. I kind of did it a bit on a whim. Um, <laughs> and, or could, well, a bit more than a whim. But I was fairly broad, I didn't really know what I wanted to do and there was a lot of choices in there and it just worked out really well. And what would your typical day, say, involve in Microsoft? Uh, <laughs> uh, it kind of changes quite a bit, going through email, there's always a lot of email <laughs> going around. And following up. It's, it's kind of like, I work on the Windows group, so we always work on the next version of Windows. So I deal with the, the feature teams, the feature teams are the different teams in, in Remnant, or Red, that's where Microsoft's headquarters is in Seattle. Uh, so most of the product gets built in the States and then I work on the international team so we have to make sure it gets ready for the international markets. So there's a lot of kind of coordination. I work with the different teams in, in the States but also around the world because we have a, because we're an international team. So we particularly have a lot of contacts in East Asia. Um, so my normal day is just working with all these different teams, uh, coordinating different projects. Like I've got about 10 different projects that I'm kind of working on at the moment that I need to kind of keep track of that all kind of feed into Windows. And yeah, it's a little bit hectic. A lot of balls in the air. Just trying to sure. so manage them and keep the email under control. No two days alike? Uh, no. No. Uh, no, the boss that's would be good. unhappy if they were. Sure, that's yeah. good. And we have Bart, who's actually, um, you are into renewable energy. How did you get from a degree stage right to where you are now? And what did you study? I studied uh, electronic and electrical engineering in Trinity. And um, I didn't know what I was uh, going to do in college. When I was like in my most teenage years. people, actually, yeah, uh, sure. I liked uh, taking things apart bikes, phones, electrical things, wiring things. Um, and I, I suppose people told me that that was engineering, although I didn't really know what engineering consisted of. So uh, my CAO choice was mostly general engineering courses. I listed off general engineering courses around Ireland, and I ended up in Trinity. I wanted to be in Dublin. And luckily, Trinity is a general course, general uh, for two years, and then you get to pick which okay. speciality you want to uh, you want to choose. So I chose electronic and electrical. There was three or four other choices you could have taken. Uh, when I finished, I went into oil and gas for four or five years, and I've been in renewables for the last seven years. So I've had quite a, a broad engineering career. There's a lot of civil, mechanical, electrical, electronics in renewables, and I get to use all the different skills. Excellent, really great.